Sodic. When printing with metal 3D printers, assuming secondary machining, positioning on the 3D printer is time consuming, especially when performing 3D printing of a large number of pieces. In addition, the centering process is time consuming because it has to be done again during secondary machining after printing. Therefore, Sodic has developed a new jig that solves these issues and provides further advantages. The jig is structured like this. Small pallets for actual printing are available as 58 by 58 pallets, 116 by 116 pallets, and 237 by 237 pallets. The greatest feature of the jig is that positioning ring, centering plate, and positioning pin enable easier positioning and accurate pallet centering. In addition, it has features that enable the reduction of powder usage, simplification of the work process, and stable printing quality. Pallet attachment detachment accuracy is 5 micrometers or less, and change after table preheating is 5 micrometers or less. Now, let's see how it is actually used. The metal 3D printer used this time was the OPM250L. The machine is already equipped with a master pallet with a positioning ring and centering plate attached. A 116 by 116 pallet will be installed here. Installation can be done on the machine, but to show you how it is installed, please see the work done outside the chamber. First, a 116 by 116 pallet is installed. Fix the pallet with positioning pins. At this time, the pallet is pressed outward to ensure accurate positioning. The remaining three pallets are also installed in this manner. Installation is complete. From here, the metal 3D printer will begin printing. Printing is completed. Remove each small pallet from the master pallet. This time, we printed a turbine blade. Install parts for secondary machining. Install the locking pins on the back side of the pallet. The unit plate is then attached and secured to it. The installation of the parts is completed. In this case, secondary machining is performed with a small hole EDM to drill holes for turbine blade cooling. The machine used is the K4HL, a linear motor drive ultra high speed small hole drilling machine. The entire pallet is mounted on the Irowa chuck attached to the machine. It can be easily installed in this way. Because the reference for secondary machining and the center of the pallet have already been established, machining can begin immediately after installation without having to confirm the positioning on the machine table again. For example, when machining a large number of identical workpieces, the high repeatability and reproducibility of positioning allows significant time savings. Secondary machining and cooling hole machining have been completed. The use of the Irova chuck enables further automation of the final inspection process, such as 3D measurements, using robots and other equipment. If you have any questions about the products you have seen, please use the inquiry form on our website or contact any of our sales offices.